My name is Beliza Jackson. I play guitar for the Darts, an all-female garage rock band, and Decker, a psychedelic desert rock band. Growing up, there was always music on at the house. I remember my earliest memories of hanging out with my dad, listening to his records. He loved bands like CCR, Buddy Holly, Steve Ray Vaughan. Instantly, I was hooked by their guitar playing skills and sounds, and I wanted to play. So I, I taught myself a couple basic chords on an old acoustic we had lying around. And then um, all of a sudden, one day, my dad came home with a brand new Fender Strat, so I was stoked. Um, I think after I picked it up, I was hooked instantly. I learned to play guitar by ear instead of learning musical theory. So, I, you know, I think when you're young, it's all about playing what you like and having fun as opposed to really being technical. Although the more I've grown up as a person and as a musician, I, I feel like I've been able to incorporate more styles and sounds. You know, I feel like it's just a learning process every day. So every day that I pick up a guitar, I, I learn something new. I spent a lot of time experimenting with amps and sounds growing up. And I think any guitarist will tell you that you're gonna be constantly chasing that perfect tone. I always found myself going back to Vox because I really loved like Brian May and the sounds that Queen had. I felt like they were so iconic and epic. With the Vox, you know, I feel like it's, it's so simple. Uh, it's everything I love about an amp. You know, you have your clean tones, which are amazing, and you can also just crank up the gain and rock the house. So for me, yeah, that's it. Starting out in the music industry, like I said, that you didn't really see a lot of female guitarists playing. Um, rock and roll is still an industry dominated by men. So I feel like it's artists like Joan Jett that have paved the way um, and changed the way that women are perceived. I remember playing so many shows early on where you know you always had the guys in the background with the eye rolls and the comments and it's not until you step on stage and actually play that they're like, oh my God, like she's actually pretty good. <laughs> So I, I think that's what pushed me to become better and try to inspire other women to pick up a guitar and just overcome that, that fear. Uh, I believe it is absolutely important to use your platform to inspire others. Um, there's been so many shows playing, in my experience, especially with the darts, with just younger girls coming up afterwards and being so grateful and thankful and inspired to see women on stage rocking. I feel like it's really cool, you know, just to see that spark in their eyes, knowing that maybe we've inspired them to pick up a guitar or another instrument and play. Uh, this year, the Darts are going to be working on releasing a new album uh, through Alternative Tentacles. I feel like most of the year will be spent working on that. And I also will be doing a couple more singles with Decker in the near future. 2020 was a pretty tough year for all musicians, you know, myself included. We've had to postpone a lot of tours and shows that we were really looking forward to. So I am hopeful that next year we'll be able to get back at it. Some of our European promoters with the darts have already started working on some things, so I can't wait to be back on stage. <laughs>